There he is, Van Camp and Woody. It was really nice meeting Woody there uh, and his friend Terry there in um, here in Morganton uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, they uh, we had a nice lunch. I did some really nice chatting. You know what I should do one of these days is. Uh, I should videotape or videotape, right? All right. Video, you're such a river and they used videotape. I should record the lot, the uh, the chats we do, you know, we around lunch, because we talked about some cool stuff. You know, some of you nomads, the inside stories. No. Yeah. Yeah, we did, actually. <laughs> Hi, Lainey. Hi, Lainey. Uh, Lainey will travel. One of our favorite channels. Anyway, this is uh, Nebo, and that is Woody. And, uh, yeah, really nice. He got a new video up here, camping in western North Carolina, still with his buddy there, um, Harry there, who is uh, T, Lee, and Destiny. T is his initial. Lee is, I guess, his middle name, or I don't know. I don't know. And then Destiny is the vehicle. So, so anyway, some very nice uh, footage of uh, beautiful western North Carolina with its green. Now, it's going to turn. It hasn't quite, I don't think the... Fall colors have quite hit yet because it's been kind of warm, but it's been very, very wet yeah, this past a week, so uh, we will probably be having some very nice uh, gre greenery footage. And there, there's, there's T. Lee Destiny's uh, vehicle there, so uh, yeah, so uh, some good camp in there in Western NC. All right, this is the nomadic movement there, Jordan and Kaylee, right? I think that's their names, right? Uh, their first home birth, water birth, rear, raw and rear, real, raw and real. So uh, uh, Kaylee got pregnant, right? Jo you know, Jordan's the daddy. He's the, the baby daddy. And, uh, and uh, she's having the baby. Now, they used to be, uh, they still have their place down in Panama, you know, the nomadic movement. They've been traveling all around Central America for years. No Trenton Alley. Anyway, uh, they have a uh, they have a beautiful little compound down there in Panama. Well, they came back to the states because you know the health care is a bit better here, right? And they wanted to have Kaylee safe when she gives the baby, when she gives birth to the baby. So they got it all set up here. <laughs> they got the cameras going, the lights going, and the babies are coming. Oh yeah, I oh my man, They're, yeah, wow, that is real. Uh, you know, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. There, there, there's the baby. Oh, wow. That is wild. That is wild. It's still, you know, you know, birth is just the thing that happens. We were all, we were all born, right? Most of us, I think most of us were born. Some of us, I think, were cloned. Some of these YouTube trolls, I think, were cloned from some <laughs> alien life form. I don't know. But not that little guy. Wow. Oh, excuse me. Sadie. Sadie May Sagli. Sag, Sag, Saglio. Anyway, congratulations, this little guy. Yeah, wow. Wow. Congratulations, Nomadic Movement. And uh, wow, putting it all up there on YouTube for everyone to watch. Now, this is, I guess, just came up because it's only got 504 views. But uh, amazing. That is truly amazing. Yeah, anyway. All right. You know, you know, that's the thing that when you're a nomad, what happens? Life happens, right? Some people pass away. Some people come into the world, you know? That's the whole cycle of life, right? Wonder if, say, in 20, 25 years, what's the world going to be like in 20 or 25 years? You know, today, what is, what is today? 2021, right? So 20 years, 2040. Say 2045, 2050. What's the world going to be like? I don't know. Uh, and uh, you know, are they still? Are we still going to have nomads? Are we still going to have RVs? Are we still going to have camper vans? Are they? Every, are we still going to have gasoline engines? Uh, you know, are we going to be able to leave our homes without permission from the government? Are we going to be able to cross state lines anymore? Are we? Do we have to have passport, viral passports on phones and? I don't know, man. What's the world going to be? What do you think? What do you think nomadic living is going to be? Going to be have flying vehicles? You know, maybe instead of uh, you know, uh, you could fl you fly a flying van. Maybe we'll have a flying van. Maybe we'll have nomads living on the moon or Mars. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. What is nomadic life going to be in twenty fifty? 
And, you know, will we have more nomads? Will, will everybody be a nomad in 2050? Will anybody have a permanent house then? Maybe, maybe in 2040 we'll make uh, permanent home living illegal and everybody will have to live in a, some sort of a vehicle. I don't know, man. <laughs> Let me know. Uh, anyway, that ought to do it for a quick one here for uh, October the 9th, Saturday. This Saturday is Saturday, 9.30 a.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Eastern live chats every Saturday. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Vlog under. Slander and decimation. What are you talking about? Uh, 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 nothing, Crotchy. Don't, don't worry yourself about it. Hey, everybody, it's Kim O'Dave. How are you doing? It is... Uh, Saturday, the 9th of October, Dave's RV Life. He is getting ready to go somewhere. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's let's recap. Recap, 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 recap. He uh, uh, he went all over the place last year. Remember last year, Betty the Bounder? That's Betty the Bounder. He went up to, he went down to uh, the Panda property. Can't say that. Panda property. Uh, and uh, then he went up to uh, Washington State to rescue the vehicle panda. Remember that? And he kind of sputtered on the way back. And then where did he go? Oh, gosh, he went all around Arizona and New Mexico. Then he came back east and Jacksonville, Florida, that, that area, northeastern Florida. That's, I think, where his he has some relatives there. And that's where Betty's transmission started to act up, and then he had to get it fixed. And then he came back up to Pennsylvania, and he's been spending the entire summer in Pennsylvania, uh, with, except for a little trip he did to Michigan there with, uh, with Aja and Pandemonium. Aja Pandemonium and stuff at the UP, the UP, Upper Peninsula, meet up there, the schoolies. Anyway, then he was talking about, well, he was been talking about getting rid of Betty, put her up for sale. I think he actually did. He got the transmission all working again. He said he had a few minor issues with it, but now it's working good. And, uh, but, but, you know, it's, I don't know. It's just, you know. So he's decided to hold on to Betty, at least, I guess, through the next uh, winter season. He got a van. He also got a van that he's been doing some camping in, which he really likes, but it's not great for living in. And he's got a bike, a motorcycle, and an e-bike, and a bunch of things. And he's got his little shop there in Pennsylvania. Okay, so that's the recap. So now, what's the latest news? Well, he's putting everything in storage for the winter there in Pennsylvania. And he's getting in Betty the Bounder, and he's going to go somewhere. So, <laughs> where's he going? Uh, I will guess uh, back down to Arizona, probably. I think that's probably where everybody tends to go when we start getting into October, November, December, right? So, I would imagine he's headed back down to the southwest and got, got all his friends down there. And I would imagine somewhere two along the, the road. Sometime. He said he's going to be gone pretty much for the most of the winter, right? So I would imagine, you know, some maybe he'll meet up with some folks as he after after courtside and RTR twenty twenty one twenty twenty two excuse me, uh, he will uh, probably you know knowing his habits he'll probably head east and visit some relatives there in Florida and so I think I think Arizona and Florida are pretty good bets for Dave. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd hand it to Rosie. She's a hardworking gal, right? She did a six hour and 29 minute exactly to the second live stream uh, last night, uh, walking around Pen Petaluma in the dark, looking out the sketchy neighborhoods. Okay, now that just, that was done five hours ago. So I guess she finished that. What time is that? That's about 3 a.m. Eastern, which is midnight California. And then boom, she's already got a new video up already. I mean, she don't sleep. <laughs> this was one hour ago. She just she get, takes a little nippy nap and back up with you. I mean, I'm telling you, you know, if we got to give an award to Rosie, it's got to be the most prolific poster. You know, I may do three or four videos a day, but I don't do six hour and 29 minutes and then don't sleep. And then, post. I, you know, now you can do an auto post. I know that people are going to say, yeah, you can have your video uploaded and then have it post at a certain time. But man, oh man, this this gal don't sleep.